Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today I'm bringing you another Forzathon guide. Uh, this week's Forzathon event is actually quite a tricky one uh, and it revolves around using the 2015 Mercedes-Benz Tankport racing truck. So the first challenge is actually the most difficult but let me tell you how to make it a bit easier. So first of all you're going to want to select the truck. Uh, obviously it costs half a million credits if you don't have one um, but I have created a tune to make life easier for you. Um, so if you want to find it, it's called Forzathon Easy, it's on my storefront, there is no engine swap as it's more powerful this way. Now I did mention it cost about half a million brand new, but you can find a lot of them in the auto show, uh, in the auction house, sorry, for a lot cheaper, uh, for around the 300k mark, so I recommend doing that if you haven't got one. Now the first challenge wants you to win three street race events. Now you've got to bear in mind on these that you are up against various cars, you cannot sort of create a blueprint of the race or create a shorter version um, it is what it is in this case so i recommend going to the batham gate street race now what i also did is specifically for this challenge because the truck's not the best in the world is i lowered the difficulty uh, as it made life a lot easier against the other driver tires um, so this tune is about a class um, i did have it before s1 class and it just wasn't working um, but trust me this tune works very very well um, it only took me up to about 20 percent and then I was in first place and then after that it was very very easy you start to run away with it after that uh, so like I said I recommend using that tune that I created uh, it worked very very well for me uh, if you're going to create your own don't do the engine swap it's not worth it uh, as you lose a lot of your height speed but all you have to do is do three of those street race events I recommend doing the Batham gate three times over now the next challenge wants you to get three stars in total from speed traps. Now this doesn't have to be three stars on one speed trap, it can be one star um, if you run it three times so to speak. Uh, but the one I use is the Asmor, um street, uh, speed trap. Now the reason being is for three stars on this you only have to hit 140 mile an hour which is actually very very easy in this truck. Uh, because of the tune I've created it will hit about 155 mile an hour which sounds slow but for a racing truck it's fairly good uh, so you won't have to keep on doing loads of runs you can get three stars in one run very very easily as you saw there 141 mile an hour um, but don't worry if you want to do one of them three times on three runs best one to use is a Cotswold and you only need 45 mile an hour for one star and that's very very easy now your last challenge here is a very quick and easy one and it just involves getting 10 trade and paint skills now what i'd recommend doing first of all is if you're online go into a horizon solo mode as there is more ai traffic and then you just want to go to the freeway um, and we all know what a trade and paint is skill is by now uh, it's just where you ding into various cars don't hit them too hard or you'll lose all your skill points um, and if you're going too slow it won't count so you want to be doing it at between 50 and 100 mile an hour uh, it's probably the easiest way to do it and as you can see here in solo mode on the freeway we pretty much get 10 in a row and that's a challenge done in literally 30 seconds um, so actually towards the end it's a fairly easy forzathon um, minus the first challenge but like i said lower the difficulty for that and you'll be a lot better off uh, anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it did help you out if it did don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this if you have any questions or you're having any troubles please do say so in the comments below and i'll get back to you as quickly as i can uh, anyway last of all a massive massive thank you for everyone's support i hope you enjoyed this and i hope it helped you out um, and a massive thank you all the best guys and take care